can we please talk about where where <laughs> is Allison's father? Why? 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 Oh yeah, stay with your crazy aunt. Sure. Like, uh, clearly he would have known Mary Drake and uh, Mrs. De Laurentiis didn't get along. So why would he allow his daughter to stay with her? Why was he allowing his daughter, Allison, to stay in, a in mental fucking Welby? None of it makes any sense to me. Like, where are they? The and last time we sudden, saw them, they were laying a sudden, on a fucking floor in the dungeon. Yeah, and all of a sudden, fucking Mary Drake says to Allison, oh, I didn't want him to harm you. Like, not that she has a British accent, but, you know, everybody sounds like Grunwald that I don't like. So, I didn't want him to harm you. He just told me that I would be getting the money. The so money you're, what my you're, daughter. So, but that's what I'm saying, though. I am so I told him I disagreed. I am used right now. I am so confused right now. And so then it's she her pops daughter. up in the fucking... It's her daughter, but Mrs. De Laurentiis pretended like it was her daughter. Uh, excuse like, me. I, I was under the assumption that she was Mrs. De Laurentiis' daughter. Like, am I wrong? Am I, like, am I wrong here? No, you're not, because we saw Chukaruski, Chukaruski, Chukaru, Chukaru, a.k.a. Charles, that was the product of the sperm of Kenneth De Laurentiis and the egg of fucking Jessica De Laurentiis. Which makes me to honestly... drown Allison, but suddenly, and, and then was put in Radley, but suddenly it's the daughter of her twin. Which honestly makes me think... That she adopted, perhaps? Not even adopted. Which makes me think that the whole entire CC story is not credible. It, well, yeah. Because, let's talk about this. Like, okay, um, hello, Mrs. Drake, how are you? Um, did you know that you gave birth to a son? That your sister helped get uh, right. a sex change for and was in Radley? And, While well, in Radley. Like... I like none of this is being explained, and it's just like, oh, just forget about it because you know what? You don't need to know that. That's not. Yeah, important. that this doesn't week matter. We're gonna have interpretive. Oh. I tell you, this, <laughs> don't worry about it. It doesn't matter because this week we're just gonna have Ezra propose to Arya, and all will be well in the world. Like, <sighs> I, I'm just, I'm so confused with the whole entire family. It's not even funny. And I watched this show. I've seen every single episode. We've seen uh, episodes multiple times. We've talked about them. But I am still very confused in that department. So please, 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 if somebody can explain it to me, let me know. Because I just don't fucking know. I have no clue what's going on. Is Allison uh, sisters with Cece? Are they cousins? Are they fucking brothers? <laughs> I don't know. I'm is so Allison, in fact, Cece's mother? Confused. Like, it, it just, <laughs> honestly. Like, do you have any clue? Me. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't. Are you? Oh, my I, God. I feel like I'm like, every time that I see Mary Drake, I'm like, oh, my God, please don't. Please, I, please don't even tell me anything more because I just, just can't handle all the confusion. Just, you're doing this when you should be doing this. And then. It, 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 okay, Marlene, I'm going to tell you something, okay? This better be wrapped up. By the time that March comes around and we have a party, because I am not. This going is not going to be wrapped up. And you know what? Honestly, I am not about to have. People are going to be so afraid of us because I am literally going to throw my foot through the TV on Mar in March. I'm just letting you know. Yeah. 55 inch screen TV gone on the ground. <laughs> Poof. Gonzo. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to just tear it off the wall and just smash it off the fucking ground because you it's never going to happen. You better make sure Jeremy's okay. Jeremy wants to buy a new one. He wants to get a 70-something inch. I'm like, you don't need that. Yes, he does to watch his football. Why doesn't he just get a fucking drive-in movie theater screen <laughs> and put it in the backyard? I don't know. I have no clue. But anyway, can we please, can we please <laughs> talk about what the fuck? just happened at the end of this episode because here i'm gonna completely say this right now I, i'm totally honestly i don't even care anymore like i said i don't care about the relationships anymore like it's just like okay no i one cares. happened to, to like that because it was not spencer and caleb that's the only reason that i enjoyed it exactly i will agree with you there but my problem is is like um she was just with liam and now they got back together two seconds and it's poof let's get married right mm -hmm. like mm, and then you know what Marlene is kind of creating like. Marlene is a pissing shit me off show. with this whole fucking bullshit of in two weeks. Yeah, what is that all about? Because here's the thing, though. You have 
Marlene is going to create a fucking uh, war on Twitter <laughs> because now, in two weeks from now, she's going to say, I need some time to think about it. Now everybody is going to be pissed off at Arya, but can we please refrain from being pissed off at Arya because let's be real here. They have not been together together well, in she's, over five years. But it's not only that, years. she's also afraid because of what happened with fucking Rollins, who was last seen renting a car and blasting onto the fucking freeway in Baltimore or whatever, the, whoever the hell did that. But, yeah, we didn't even touch base on the fact that her and Emily went into the burner apartment and found fucking a passport and the name Archer, Doolittle, fucking Dunhill, <laughs> Dunhill. Drew Hill, fucking... I don't Which, know, Hill, whatever. And then, if somebody can please, if you could do it on Twitter, can you please send us a screenshot of the ledger that he had written? Because I didn't get to take a picture well, of it. Well, yeah, it was cash and it, yeah. initials okay, MD J-M and fucking JM. And, yeah. yeah, okay, so we can kind of assume it was Mary De Laurentiis and Jenna Marshall, but who the fuck knows, because everybody has aliases in the show. Yeah. But, anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> can Are we going back to the blackboard? But we're going to hit touch face on that. But here's my thing. Can we not all get pissed off at Aria when she says that she needs time? Because you have to realize she has not been with him in over five fucking years. Okay? And I get that feelings don't die. Like, I get that she probably still has feelings for him. And it's, you know, they've been, like, getting getting along and, like, they're kind of together. Whatever. But can we also discuss the fact, like, nobody is talking about the fact that no one is talking about the fact that Arya cheated on Liam. Spencer cheated on Caleb. Fucking, uh, Emily, I don't, Emily just fucking will cheat on anybody because she just does not give two fucks who she's sleeping with. She really doesn't. I've never, I cannot believe, like, if I had to pick from season one, episode one, and they said... Here's the lineup. Pick which girl is going to sleep with the most people. Uh, uh, Emily would be my last pick. And I'm pretty sure that Hannah would have been my first pick. But nope. We have Hannah who is just in love with Caleb. Let's be real here. And you know what really frightens me is that the only way... <clears throat> the only way that I feel like this is going to be okay between... Hannah, Caleb, and Spencer, is if we find out Spencer is somehow involved. And that makes things okay for Hannah and Caleb. I feel like that's the only way that, because you can't just no, forget they, about what happened between, no. what's happening between the three of them. You just can't. And like... These are made in Vietnam. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. But anyway, you can't just forget what happened. But that's neither here nor there. Again, the relationships are really just the last thing from my mind. Can we Noel Khan's fucking teeth. Please. Can we discuss oh, yes. that oh, yes. ass oh, fucking man? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Can we please? please? Yes. Ooh, I I fucking missed sexiest. Mr. Cole fucking Noel Khan. He is now playing Sawyer in Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades. Fifty Shades Darker. I am very excited. But anyway, he looked so good tonight, okay? But... The last thing I want to touch base on. And now, <laughs> there can be no arguing, okay? <laughs> Allison, technically, the cops are under the impression that he took off on her. He was in it for the money. He wanted, he, it wasn't love, blah, blah, blah. She introduced herself as, he said, oh, Mrs. Rollins. She said, I'm sorry, it's fucking Mrs. De Laurentiis now. So please explain the blackboard now, people. Where is the fucking blackboard scene? What happens? Why is she going by Rollins? Who the fuck is she running from that the girls come back and say that he is coming for you? Is that supposed to be some kind of interpretive dream sequence to the fact that we were supposed to fucking try to figure out, oh, yes, I know what's going to happen. There's going to be somebody by the name of A.D. and it's actually going to be the guy that's going by the name of Rollins. I just don't understand. Where, the, where, did, where, did that, where did that come from? Like, where? where? Because now, obviously, It was pulled out of the same has... ass cheek that fucking told Toby and Allison, four years old, were fucking kissing. Well, because now, uh, clearly, the police know that his name is, in fact, not uh, Rollins, because Toby knows. 
Toby is like on the straight and narrow right now. He's not going to withhold that well, information. Well, let's put it this way. He's buried. His face was buried in the fucking windshield. Well, we don't know who, now. Who the fuck is blasting down the freeway in Baltimore? I told you. I think who they buried. I think that whoever was trying to get her out of that hospital. Was the twin was... brother of Rollins. No, not necessarily the twin brother of Rollins. Whoever it was, I think they had a mask of Rollins on. And they were like, oh, change of plans. Blah, blah, blah. That's the only and, logical explanation. And the real Rollins... Not real Rollins, the real Elliot Rollins, whoever the fuck you want to call him, that she actually married. Plot twist. They go and they dig up the fucking body it's and take him. off the mask and it's Wilton. Yeah, seriously. that's Something like, like that is going to happen. Because whoever's buried there is going to be somebody that was trying to get Allison out of there. That's what I think. And I think it's going to be somebody that was just using his face because everybody has realistic masks in this fucking school. And keeps fucking... heads inside their hideaway bed with pictures of Weldon on the wall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm, See, making a, I'm making a mask of Wilden. Hmm. Maybe I should put some fucking pictures up on the wall so I can dream of him at night. Yeah, like, right? The fuck? Like, what the fuck? Why are people running around with other people's fucking faces on? I don't know, but that's... I'm sorry, but if you were sitting on my porch and somebody walked down the street with your face on going, hey, <laughs> like, I'd be like, who the... I'd have to run them down. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. But to me, I don't know, that mask that fell out of the bed, it did not look like fucking Wilden to no. me. It looked like the Orville Redenbacher mask. From, it did look from like the guy with I the, thought so, too. That's what it looked like to me. But... Could be wrong. They could just be. Fe- I don't know who makes these masks because whoever makes these masks is it still? Hector? I need one made so that way I can pretend to be somebody else because you have some mad fucking skills. Clearly, that yeah. People can are- you change the body too? This is so that we can walk around and, and be skinny. Yeah, walk around the red carpet pretending to be like fucking Eva Longoria or fucking Sofia Vergara. Yeah. All right. But that that was it. I I just I don't know if you guys are feeling the same way I'm feeling. I'm not impressed with this season. I don't think it's bad. I I do see, like, had this had been like the first season ever, I would have been like, oh, okay, this is good. But for because. the last season that is supposed to be wrapping stuff up, we have absolutely patience, zero. My dear. I don't care what anybody says. The only thing we learned this fucking season in the past, what, five? Well, what episodes are This is seven, five, ten. Seven, five. In the past five episodes, the only thing we learned is, mm, oh, wait, Elliot is not, in fact, Elliot. That's it. That's a fair point well made, my dear. Bye. <laughs>